So undoubtedly, we're going to get a big reveal for Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 at E3. But until then, we have to look at some of the little crumbs that they've kind of left around the internet in different interviews, telling us what exactly we can expect in this game and kind of some of the world building that they're doing. Now, of course, we know that New York City is as important to Spider-Man as Gotham City is to Batman. If you mess up New York City, you've messed up Spider-Man because it is his city. You know, he's got to protect it. He lives in it. He understands it. And it's embodying who Spider-Man is. And that's one of the big, you know, important parts of Spidey. So when it comes to the Marvel version of New York, we know that that's even more unique than you could ever imagine. Various buildings and various features that aren't found in the real world are all throughout New York. Now, of course, this includes something like I've already talked about, which is the Avengers Tower, which is already confirmed to be in the game. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Now, not only that, it was also confirmed that a few extra places are going to be appearing due to a playable demo that was shown to a few outlets, specifically the Sanctum Sanctorum, which of course is the location where Doctor Strange bases most of his practice, I would say, in New York City, is actually located within the confines of this world. But that's not the only thing. The Wakandan Embassy is also featured in New York as well, which is pretty awesome considering that you have to really think about how big Black Panther has been just in the last couple months and the fact that they were already kind of planning ahead to be able to put that in there. Now my big question is, are any of these characters going to appear in it? And I would assume a small cameo here or there is probably possible. And then the bigger question is, since these buildings are here, what other ones could be showing up? I mean, I'm assuming the Fantastic Four Baxter building is probably going to be somewhere in there. We just haven't seen it yet or they haven't retrofitted one of the other buildings to look like it. But you know, people were playing the alpha build, so that kind of tells you how how long ago some of these things were already in it. So honestly, I'm just getting more and more hyped knowing all these things are going to be in the game. And you guys, let me know your thoughts on it and what things are you most excited to see in the game and what other characters slash buildings slash, I guess, residences would you like to see in here? I know it's a stretch, but I would love to see Daredevil somewhere within the confines of Hell's Kitchen. You know, something like that, maybe even team up with him. I would love that.